Check out these photos from Zero Shadow Day in Manila this past week. And now I made a whole separate video explaining what this is. But in short, two days a year, the sun is directly overhead in the tropics. And it makes for this unique and different phenomena here where basically everything almost looks photoshopped really cool thanks for everyone for sending that in and remember it was just in manila but uh today it's up in like the subic area then the next day it's going to be up for a little bit further towards the north uh into like pangatsinan eventually across the kagan valley and eventually it will make its way over towards taiwan on the solastis so you know just a pretty Pretty interesting and different things here. Now, this all comes, you have the, you know, high noon, direct sun rays, and very warm temperatures continuing across the Philippines. And you might be thinking, I, I've seen these comments, they, they blow my mind. People were like, this is all hype. This is a great graphic. Lex uh, here from Westpac Weather put together uh, all across Luzon. And these are temperature anomalies indicated in red above average temperature. Darker red, about two degrees above average throughout the month of April. And it is incredible. The second half of the April, these are not temperatures. This is above average temperatures in red here. Uh, it just really shows you just how hot it has been. And on top of that, of course, we've had record breaking temperatures, not heat indices, but record breaking temperatures across the area. But if you factor in the humidity and the heat index, boy, it is uh absolutely crazy hot out there and uh the heat indices has been pushing near 50 uh even at times um it, it, yeah it, guys it, it, you know what it's still ongoing i don't really see much relief in the forecast uh from this extreme heat as well in fact you just look at the long range ensembles there really is no storms that would help cool things down now this is way way out over 300 hours the GFS has been hinting at something maybe south of Guam developing, but it's been doing this for about a week now. And uh, at least nothing in the near term looks like it's going to be um, popping up here. So, boy, it's um just relentless with this high pressure ridge right here now we do have a couple of lows passing towards north here's a pretty decent one uh with that we may actually see kind of a front dip down and that could track across uh northern uh areas of luzon kick up some showers there for you plus we're continuing to deal with the easterlies which is bringing some cloudy skies and even bits of rainfall for parts of uh mindanao you can see actually the latest bulk right there kind of kicking across there but uh, everywhere in the middle, this heat, this high pressure ridge is continuing to dominate. And that's what these isobars kind of sticking out here and uh, just continuing to bring the heat with not much happening out here in the tropics. That's where your ITCZ is. And I just don't see much, if anything, happening uh, across that area there. So, boy, it's just ongoing. Now, this is through midweek, as I mentioned, Wednesday. Could get some afternoon showers kind of kicking up thanks to that front passing towards the north. You can see it right in there, even over towards Thursday afternoon. But this is going to be little relief if outside of a few isolated showers from that heat throughout this upcoming week. And you can even see this uh, really all playing out in the rainfall accumulation. Our storm systems back towards Okinawa, Taiwan, getting some good showers from that moisture getting flowed in from the west, hitting the mountains there in the Taipei. And then you have the easterlies and the ITCZ continuing to dominate further down towards the south. And thus, General Santos, Davao, you're still going to be looking at some showers. Same with Cagayan de Oro. And then we go further towards the north. Some on and off clouds across a good portion of Asayas, but still staying on the hot side for a lot of you guys out here. I don't really see much in the form of relief. And then we scoot further towards north here on Wednesday. Could get some showers in the higher elevations in uh, Luzon. You can see Batak out there in Locos. Uh, could be looking at some showers, but just in general, yeah, it's, it's another hot day with a little bit of relief into the afternoon afternoon across this area so uh, uh, you know and just real quick some people have said hey you, you show your patreon list too much i do it because that's one of the perks of signing up and helping out on patreon especially our typhoons and super typhoons i mention you guys every every name i know some people have left that are still on the list here but uh you know you all donated and i just want to continue to give you guys shouts out shout outs so thank you so much for everybody who continues to donate let's get to the five day forecast so help you plan ahead for this upcoming week so wednesday thursday friday in manila some increase in clouds in the latter half of the week as that little kind of surge pushes down from the north but i don't really see much in the form of rain it's still going to be on the hot side if you go down towards Davao, though, a couple of you have asked uh, if we could show this more we have 
have some scattered showers to so those passing easterlies out there. Nothing too serious, but definitely you're getting at least some relief from the precip here, or from the heat, I should say, here. And then we go over towards um, Shargao. Uh, yeah, you know what? Cloudy skies, isolated afternoon showers, but those cloud cover and that onshore breeze keeping you just a bit cooler for you as well. Anyway, scoot over towards Cebu. Yeah, it's still going to be warm out there. Isolated shower possible uh, here on Thursday, but it's you're not getting much relief. And we wrap it up with the people that are getting a little bit of relief, and that is in Baguio. Cooler out there with some isolated showers as well possible. Temperatures into the high 70s. So, yeah, guys, that's that's a look at what's happening out here today. If you have any questions or anything like that, please let me know. Right now, no tropical threats. We just don't have the ingredients in play. But if we ever do, I'll let you know. That's all for today. As always, thanks for watching. And number one thing, of course, is please, please, please stay safe out there, friends. I hope you have a great day.